Okay, now uh, this is classmarker.com. Um, welcome to another how-to session. So this is this is basically a just like your Kahoot, um, we can use quiz online quizzes. Okay, um, it's free registration. It's a free tool, I would say. Classmarker.com. You would register yourself for free. Um, and then it gives you, I don't know, I have over here a free version. I have like almost 45 tests here and 465 questions there. Okay, so what you can do is start off with create. Okay, test name. I'm just giving an example. Test, uh, online test. Uh, you can give it a name for the class. Say, imagine if I have a class called 10, 10.1, 10.2, whatever that is. Okay, then 10.1, I'll just call 10.1. Okay and then generic now i have so many categories here okay so now imagine i want to create a new one okay so this is for my class xyz class all right and then here it might be maths english whatever you want to call it as so i'm just going to say business okay i'm just going to call this as business all right for business all right now i'll click that uh okay there you go now, once you have the name of the test and business category, you start adding questions. Okay, right now, when you start adding questions, you can have, here we go, fixed questions, add fixed questions. You can have random as well, but straightforward. I've just clicked on, if you want, I can just go back again. Um, once you create the class, you will see this panel. Click on fixed questions, click on fixed questions. So now, I have multiple choice uh, questions here, uh, true or false, matching, and I mean, there's a lot you can do here, yeah? Essay questions and so on, all right? So, and automatically you can set this up. It's very straightforward, very easy. Now, I'm just going to copy some questions from online, all right? I'm just going to go, which or one of the following method is secondary market research, all right? My questions or my answers are questionnaire, for example, comment reports, right? survey, okay, and then focus groups. All right, let's copy. All right, I'll just talk about focus groups. Right? Fo focus groups. Okay. So now uh, you have four options here because there's multiple choice, right? So what you can do now is have your answer selected like for example i can see that question is government reports the secondary market research so most probably you're looking at um, government reports of an answer for example all right so now you will click that and then here you can add more questions if you want okay the selected answer is b this is your category business okay now here you can give points all right so i've given one point okay for this question randomize answers yes okay and now you would have a radio button here. The uh, students can, learners can choose. And if you want a preview, this is how it will look like. Okay. Which one of the following methods and so and so? The answer is, for example, randomize your answer. Yes, I want them to randomize every time somebody gets the answer. Uh, somebody logs into the screen, it will be just randomized. And your answer is, say, this. Okay. So save. That's it. It's gone. So now on the top, if you see, you have one fixed question. There are no random questions, just one fixed question and so on. So let's go to true or false. Okay. Um, say, let, let's let's type up a question. Um, 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 what can I say in business? Um, um, what am I looking at? I'm just thinking. Um, QA uh, is referred to as quality assurance okay right yes the answer is correct okay and I've given one point if you want to see the preview this is preview save it and you're done so now I have two questions okay now if you want to um, you know uh, release this test or give the link upload them uh, to your learners, you give, give it to your learners, click on back to test, see these two questions you have, okay, now you can have here, ready to give the test, 
assign and select settings click on assign and select settings you can have it through your group there is a group option here i've not used that before uh, you can just give it a link assign to a link so now you will get a link uh, create a new link okay link name you can give it a link name test uh, 10th 10th april or just call it 11th april uh, 2020 so for example okay available yes um, it's available unlimited attempts you can um, you know uh, limit it to one or multiple two three so that's what uh, your learners yes password I've put one two three four password and then to get the link they need the password to do the test okay um, you can set up a price there again I've not used that before um, I used to pay for this um, it costs around um, how much maybe 200 pounds 200 pounds a year uh, and it gives you so many options but I've stopped doing that so this is free version so there's a lot of stuff that you can't do and um, yeah you user can put their names and emails and so on and then you move on instructions you can put some instructions here you know say guidelines put the guidelines in there if you type the guidelines they can see something like this example of guidelines this is what they can see okay now i've put here this test is so and so so and so so and so you can put that customize that you can give a time limit 30 minutes 40 minutes whatsoever uh, save results this option i think if i'm not mistaken it's on it only works if you have a, you know a full version if you paid version and so on um yeah and you can you know have different themes over there not play with that display one question per page you can have multiple questions there randomize yes randomize always randomize your answers okay and you would move on to you know uh, percentage points uh, they can see uh, the results and see the feedback and so on you can stop um, when they finish the learners when they finish your um, the quiz they, um, sometimes you can stop them literally I mean I think you can just take that off they would not be able to see uh, their um, question wrong and right answers so you could do that as well so pass mark yes feedback you can type your feedback in here and uh, yeah return link we can come back again i said no there and so on certificate i mean this is a good one upgraded feature once they finish they get certificate so literally you can design a nice certificate so they can download it if they get over 80 or 100 whatever that you can download it and here you can get an email as soon as they finish it you get an email uh, i just put it off i don't want those emails uh, sent back to me i used to do all that but no, not anymore uh, so yeah you could do that as well and printing you can give that option save as default if you want all this to be default you can do that as well so every time you create a test all this is stored already in there okay assign now click on assign once you finish that off there you go that's your link there yeah so now i'll click on it here i'll put the link i'll i have to log off so i think if i if i go ahead with it it will tell me that preview mode because you see i'm already logged in somewhere so i'll just say one two three four the password click on it and there you go your instructions remember the instructions we put continue and start all the instructions are there and there you go that's your test so remember QA referred to as we said yes we can call it no doesn't matter all right and then here we'll just choose then we gave this as answer finish now so once you finish now you will see confirm yes so look at that Oh, it's beautiful there look so you have created a quick test for your learners and they've taken it it will tell you the right and wrong answers they can see it they can practice it multiple times and so on okay hope you've enjoyed that thank you